Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make your system start up faster. Uh, so what that means is um, when you turn on your power and you, know, you push the power button then you log in it's going to be faster. Um, now what I'm going to show you it requires no software and it's free. So let's get started. Let's open up start and let's go to, let's go to run is it you can either go to run or if you can't find run go to command prompt. It doesn't matter. For me it's personal. I like command prompt. What you're gonna type in is MS config. You can you type that in your run or in your command prompt. And it pops up. This is what it looks like in system configuration. Alright, as you many of you that are having the pro a problem with yours, or like a slow startup, yours is probably going to be on normal. As you see, mine is on selective. Don't mess with that if it's on normal, it's okay. Because when you change the set, you don't need to mess with this. What you'll need to do is if you're running XP, it's a little bit, you have more tabs. But for Vista, you have only a few. So you want to click on Startup. And then you have all these applications. If you're running normal startup, everything will be checked. Everything. And that's why your computer is slow. Is these are the, everything that's checked is all the programs that turn on when you push your power button and that's why it's only slow when you first turn on your computer so what you should do is say like I don't know say if that was checked this was checked this I'm just randomly checking stuff alright okay you see all like okay I'll just check these you, yours is mostly going to be checked but what you're looking for is you're looking for stuff that your computer needs to run on you if you run wireless I'll leave that on this is your security Definitely, you definitely want that running on your startup. But you don't need iTunes to turn your computer on. You don't need health, no, the help from Hewlett Packard. You don't need Yahoo. You don't need MS. And you don't need any of this. I mean, you're not gonna play QuickTime. Um, you don't need TomTom, Tom, Java, Adobe, etc. But the stuff you do need mainly is your wireless if you run wireless I would also have it so your internet runs if you run DSL and I would also you know have your you know, yeah, your wireless and your internet running in your security but if you don't know what it is don't check don't mess with it because you know I don't want you to mess with your computer because if you mess up sometimes the only way to fix it is to actually go in the safe mode but that's about it. What you'll do next is you'll click apply, and then OK. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that because I really don't feel like restarting my computer. But you click apply, and that no be apply, and then it'll be close or OK, one or the other. On XP it's close. On Vista it's OK, and then you'll have a little box that pops up that says restart now or restart, continue without restarting. You want to always click restart now and you'll notice that you will not have that many icons by your clock like you used to which is a good thing and that will make your computer have a faster startup if you have any questions please let me know rate comment subscribe as there will be more video comes and, uh, videos to come and thank you and have a wonderful day